Hello everyone, coming off of a sweep in series 143, we are ready for series 144 here for uh, your enjoyment. We have two teams uh, ready to face off uh, using Out of the Park Baseball 20 as the means to get this done. And we've had good series up to this point, as I'm sure you've been following. And we continue now with two brand new teams for a new matchup. So let's get the details here of these teams that we're going to showcase today and we start with a team that lost 101 games but they were chosen and they're going to be now in the spotlight it's the 2010 seattle mariners they only won 61 dropped 101 obviously a tough season in seattle they were in dead last in the american league west um, a lot of issues with the team that lost so many games one one can point to a lot of things but looking at the lineup uh you can see here Chon Figgins who came over with as a big free agent only hit 259 did steal 42 bases but struggled with 35 RBI um, and only 62 runs disappointing for Chon Figgins who came over with some fanfare but didn't quite produce um, on the flip side you still have a 36 year old Ichiro Suzuki who played in every game 162 hit 315, had 214 hits, 43 RBIs, uh, 42 steals, a vintage each year old season, still getting it done at 36 years old. Amazing, really, that he was that good. Um, Russell Brannion, the DH, struggled at 215, even though he hit 15 long balls. Um, Franklin Gutierrez at 245, had 64 RBIs, 12 home runs, 25 steals. Jose Lopez, Michael Saunders, also part of the mix, but the average is very low here. Even Adam Moore at catcher at 195. Casey Kochman struggling. Uh, so other than Ichiro, uh, very, very little being generated here by this Mariner team. Milton Bradley at 32, signed the big contract as well, but hit only 205, and he struggled in more ways than one on this team. So a lot of issues here for the Mariners. Um, even with the star power of Ichiro. But going to the pitching staff, we have another star, young at 24 years old, King Felix Hernandez, 13 and 12, with an impressive VRA of 227. He pitched almost 250 innings and struck out 232. Six complete games on outstanding come uh, breakout season for Felix, uh, who <clears throat> begins his reign as the Mariner ace for many, many years to come. Uh, you'll see here we got Jason Vargas, 9 and 12. He went almost 200 innings. Doug Fister's here and Cliff Lee at 31, uh, 8 and 3 with a 234, over 100 innings for him. So a couple good names here that uh, might be um, might might give some hope to the Mariners. Uh, we'll see how much of Cliff Lee we see, if at all. Uh, bullpen, David Ardsma, 31 saves, 344 ERA. He had his ups and downs. Brandon League, Garrett Olson, Jamie Wright, some other names out of the pen. Um, so King Felix and Ichiro, really the stars of this team. Other than that, struggles. Um, not a great time for a Seattle Mariners franchise and team in 2010. Um, obviously, they went through a manager change as well. Um, but we'll see how things go. Uh, we'll see who they're drawn with, first of all, and see how they play in this best of seven series. Their opponents from the mid-90s, it's going to be the 1996 Kansas City Royals, and they also had a losing record, so not a terrible draw for the Mariners. Um, the Royals were 75-86, and 86, fifth in the AL Central, last place there. Bob Boone, the manager, so again, not a good year in Kansas City either. Um, looking at their lineup, there's a 22-year-old Johnny Damon in center field, uh, hitting 271. He's just starting his impressive career. Tom Goodwin with uh, uh, a, a lot of speed, 66 steals, 282. Uh, Goodwin is someone, and Damon, someone to watch on the bases. Michael Tucker, 260. He hit 12 home runs. Um, Mike McFarland, a good catcher, 274, 19 home runs to lead the team for him, 54 RBIs. Jose Offerman, uh, 303, always a good average hitter, but not much else being produced. 
Uh, Joe Randa, David Howard, Randa at 303, um, 13 homers for, or six homers for him with 13 steals. Howard and Lockhart, uh, the other middle part of the infield, uh, mediocre at best. Uh, Bip Roberts on that bench at 283. Uh, Mike Sweeney there at um, 22 years old, also part of the bench. So you see here the Royals, some names you might recognize, definitely some team speed that uh could come into play they did steal a lot of bases um which obviously will be a factor pitching wise tim belcher 15 and 11 in his 238 innings of work chris haney 10 and 14 on the other side he had a little bit of a rife year um he allowed 29 homers belcher 28 so the long balls were hurting this team and then you have the eight beer gubaza combination uh, Gubaza especially starting to slow down, 513 ERA, battling injuries only 4 and 12, whereas Apier had a good year, actually quite good, over 200 innings, 14 and 11 with a nice ERA. Chuck Montgomery, the closer, but he struggled, losing record, 426 ERA. He also allowed 14 long balls. So obviously some issues on the pitching side. Uh, Belcher and Apier probably the best you can fine but the bullpen struggled and the lineup uh, lacked any real pop whenever the catcher is leading the team in slugging you know maybe it isn't the best offense around but obviously they're drawn with the 2010 mariners so two teams that struggled a bit um, get the luxury of playing each other and seeing where things go there are some individual stars that we will be watching in this series uh, so we'll let it go and see what happens uh, the best of seven will start off at Kauffman Stadium in a good matchup. Felix Hernandez will face off against Kevin Apier to start the season. I know the Mariners lost 101 games, but you get the feeling that they have a chance here against the Royals. We'll see how things play out. Series 144. Glad you're with us. Let's take you through the action and start it off here. Best of seven. First two in KC. Let's head out to Kauffman Stadium for the first pitch of the series. So heading out live here, we're in the second inning. We got Russell Brannion at the plate against Kevin Apier, no score. And this ball's hit hard and deep to right field, looking up all the way out of the park. Home run there. Hasta la vista. Brannion with the home run. It's one to nothing. Mariners, it's a solo shot. On him third now, Johnny Damon facing Felix Hernandez. And Damon goes to left. That's over the head of the left fielder, so Damon's going to head to second. He's now looking at third. A triple for Johnny Damon here with nobody out on the third inning. Joe Randa, the hitter. And Randa's going to fly this one to right field. Coming on hard to make the play. Ichiro's there. That'll hold the runner. So two outs for Michael Tucker. This one's hit two second. No play can be made. Infield hit. Runner will score. Figgins couldn't get the ball out of his glove. And we are tied at one here as we move now. To the fourth inning, we got Brannion back up there, who's already homered off Apier. If he can do it again, and he does! Deep to right, if it's fair, it's home run number two for Brannion. Goodbye! Russell Brannion, two at-bats, two solo home runs to right field. It is two to one now, Seattle. Here's McFarland now, bottom of the fourth with a man on, nobody out, and McFarland hits it center. That ball's going to get down. Extra bases, run around in third. He's going to score. We are tied at two as the catcher comes through. McFarlane with a double to center field. And our score is 2-2. Two -two. Johnny Damon now the hitter with the man on. Two outs. He hits a liner. That's past the third baseman. Catcher trying to score. Here's the throw to the plate. He is safe. Three to two. Royals on the RBI single by Damon. Up the fifth, Jose Lopez, the hitter. Lopez goes to center field. That's going to be caught on a fly out there by Damon. First out of the inning. Seventh inning here. 
Ichiro at the plate against the eight here, who's still in the game. Ichiro will line a single past the second baseman, so that's a hit for Ichiro. Always a threat to run. Canyon, who already has two home runs, is up. There goes Ichiro. He's going to steal second. Not even a throw there by McFarland. So Banyan at the plate. Seattle trying to tie this game. There's ball four. So a threat here. Well, first and second. For Justin Smoke. But Smoke looks at strike three. So that is the first out. As Jeff Montgomery has come into this ball game. Michael Saunders now at the plate. Here's a ground ball to first. Play it second for the force. So that's the second out. No double play there. And Jose Lopez has a chance here with two outs. He hits it to center field. That ball is going to be caught in center field. Johnny Damon, an outstanding play in center field to prevent the runs from scoring. The fans enjoying it as we hit the seventh inning stretch. Three to two Royals. We move to the seventh now. There are two outs for Bob Hamlin. He's facing Jamie Wright. This ball's lying the center field. That's going to get down. So the Royals will extend their lead here. Four to two in this ball game. A big two out hit. We're in the eighth inning now. Mike Magnante on two pitch. Josh Wilson at the plate. Here's a looper. That ball's going to drop in right field. Rob Johnson, the hitter. That's inside. So, two on. Nobody out. And Chom Figgins, the hitter. Figgins will strike out. So, he goes down swinging. And Gutierrez now with, a, with an out and two on. He strikes out. So two strikeouts in a row. The Royals been doing the job. The bases are loaded with two outs for Russell Brannion. Doug Linton's come in the pitch, and there's ball four. So it's four to three. A big walk there as Brannion's always a threat. He's already homered twice, and this is a four to three game with Justin Smoke up. A chance to tie or do more damage if he can. This is hit to center field. That ball's going to get down. One run in. Throw to the plate for the second runner. And he's out. They get him at the plate. Smoke gets a single. But Ichiro is tagged out at the plate as Damon nails him with a throw. The gamble does not pay off. It's a 4-4 four to four game, however. We'll move to the bottom of the eighth. Two outs for Damon, who made that play in the top of the inning. Now at the plate, he lines a single to center. So Damon already becoming a key figure in this series as he's playing well in game one. Here's Offerman with two outs. This ball's hit to center field. Should be playable. It is. We'll move to the ninth inning. Four to four our game. Game one here live with you at Kauffman Stadium. Pichardo is the pitcher against Saunders. This ball's hit deep to right, way back at the wall, and gone. A clutch home run here by Saunders. Solo variety in the ninth inning, five to four Mariners. A big, big blow here as Jack Wilson now comes to the plate with one out. He hits a little ground ball that will get through. So that goes into right. Five to four. Our score, we're going to the bottom of the ninth with David Ardsma facing Joe Randa and the home team rally. There is a strikeout. So Ardsma gets the leadoff man on a one-two slider. And Mike Tucker there. Tucker will hit this one past the second baseman. There's a hit. So the tying run on base, 5-4 to four our score. Craig Paquette, the hitter. Paquette strikes out on a full count pitch, so two out. Bob Hamlin, the last hope. And Hamlin takes a borderline pitch. He'll get on base. So the tying run moves to second. 
Mike McFarland facing Ardsmith. Two outs, ninth inning, 5-4 game. And this is line past the first baseman. Run around in third. Here comes a throw by Ichiro. Late. Clutch RBI single here by McFarland in the ninth to tie the game. The Royals put out of the fire with two outs, and now they got a chance to win it with Lockhart up there. Two men on. He strikes out. We are going to extra innings, but the Royals tie this game in the ninth. Bottom of the ninth, I should say, after the Mariners had taken the lead. We move to the tenth. 5-5 ball game. Great game here for the opener of the series. Here's a ground ball to short. Play will be made there. Gutierrez is out. Two outs here for Brannion, who's homered twice already. Brannion looks at ball four, so they're definitely deliberately pitching around him. And Justin Smoke is the hitter. This ball's hit the center field. Coming on hard to make the play. Damon is there, so we'll move bottom of the 10th, 5-5 tie. Even Howard now facing Ardsma. There is a strikeout, so Ardsma has looked really good. Except for the hits that he allowed there, but he's striking out a lot of batters. He has four already. Offerman, however, takes a walk with two outs. So the winning run on base. Oranda, the hitter with the winning run on second. And this is hit hard and deep to left field, all the way to the track, and caught out there by Saunders. Just enough room. So we move to the 11th. I thought for a minute that was going to leave the yard. It doesn't. And Saunders now the hitter. Full count in the 11th inning. There's a strikeout. So Saunders goes down swinging. Pichardo has pitched well. Jose Lopez at the plate. He lines a single to left field. So that is the eighth Mariner hit here in the 11th inning. Jack Wilson, the hitter with one out. Wilson goes to right field. That ball's on a fly all the way at the wall. Ichiro can't get it. Home run, Wilson. Two run blow, seven to five, our score. And we move now bottom of the 11th. Michael Tucker, can the Royals come back again? Ardsma, the pitcher, continuing to work, and he strikes out on a 2 2 pitch, Tucker. So there's two outs now, 7 to 5. Bob Hamlin, the last hope of the home team. There's a ground ball to second, should be playable. It is. And the 101 loss, 2010. Mariners win game one, show the fight that we maybe were not expecting, and win this one in extras, 7-5, a great opening ball game. Both teams giving it their all. Russell Brannion had two home runs early, three RBIs for the winning team. Kevin Apier went six innings, struck out six. Jack Wilson, two for two with that crucial home run in the 11th that changed the whole complexion of the game. The Mariners just wouldn't relent. They kept the pressure on the Royals until it was enough in extra innings. White gets the save. Ardsma pitched well. He got the win. Picharno the loss. Both managers going with their bullpens. And it came down to that long ball by Jack Wilson. So a great opening game. Uh, the Mariners pull it off. And now game two at Coffin Stadium is ready to get started. Doug Fister is going to face Jose Rosada. Rosado, I should say. And we'll see if the Royals can bounce back here as the Mariners have taken the early lead in the series. Let's keep things rolling as we head out to Coffin Stadium for game number two. Third inning, we are scoreless. Fister facing Offerman with the man on. This ball is drilled past the first baseman. That'll get down. So with the one out, the Royals have runners in scoring position. Joe Randa now is going to hit it to first. Play will be made at second. No double play there. Runners now on the corners. We'll move to the fourth. Nothing 
Still doing. We are on the scoreless game. Keith Lockhart up there with two on. Lockhart goes deep to right center. That ball's going to roll all the way to the wall. Two runs are going to get in. This is going to be a triple. Yes, indeed. Lockhart with the two-run triple, and it is two to nothing now in favor of the home side. Three to nothing. Make it. We move to the fifth. Michael Tucker facing Pister. Full count. Tucker goes deep to right field. That ball off the top of the wall. Misses a home run by inches. Tucker will make it to third with a triple. That ball bangs off the top of the wall, but it is not deemed a home run. Run will score anyway, and it is five to nothing, fans, as we move to the ninth. Two outs here with a runner on third. Mark Kiefer, the pitcher. And this ball's lying too short. The play's made there. Howard makes it, and we are finished here in game two. A shutout as the Royals bounce right back. After dropping game one, they win game number two. And Jose Rosado is the hero here. He goes seven innings strong, five strikeouts. Gets the win before the Royals pen comes on, and this time they get the job done. Doug Fister takes the loss. He didn't pitch terribly, but did allow the runs that cost the, the difference in the game. Keith Lockhart won for three with a triple two RBIs for the winning Royals. And just like that, they bounce right back in the series. The team split the first two here in Kansas City. And we are ready to head up to Safeco Field for game number three of the series as we prepare for the middle portion, the three games in Seattle. The series tied up at one. The Mariners winning an extras in game one and the Royals coming back with a shutout in game number two. So we are ready to roll. Series 144 is a good one. We're heading now to Seattle for game three of the series. Series tied at one. Now we're in Seattle. Michael Tucker leading off the second inning. Facing Jason Vargas. And Tucker will get that just fair down the right field corner. He's going to head the second with a double here to lead off the second inning for the Royals. If the game moves bottom of the second, Justin Smoke up there with a the man on third. Nobody out. And there's a ground ball into the hole. That's going to get through. So the Mariners get the first run of game number three. And taking the extra base because nobody's covering second. It's going to be Smoke. He's at second after the RBI. And it's one to nothing. Now the base is loaded for Josh Wilson. We're still in the second inning. Still nobody out. There's the first out of the inning. A strikeout. And a big one at that. But Rob Johnson now has a chance with a one out. He hits a little dribbler to third. Play going to be made at first in time. A run's going to score, so it's two to nothing, Seattle. We'll move to the sixth now. A good pitching matchup here. Jason Vargas facing Johnny Damon. Damon's going to lift this one down the line. That's a just fair inside the chalk. Jim Damon's going to head to second with a double here to lead off the sixth. So the Royals trying to get Back into this game, Jose Offerman is going to hit one just shy of third here, and that's going to be as good as a bunt. It is an infield hit for the speed of Offerman, and now runners on the corners for Joe Randa in a big spot. Randa goes to short. That might be two. They only get one. Has a good job there by Offerman going into the bag, and the first run for the Royals crosses the plate. Here's Mike McFarlane with a one out and a man on. McFarlane goes down the left field line. That's a fair ball. Into the corner. Let's see if they send the runner. No, they don't. So with one out, it's second and third here for the visitors. And Michael Tucker with the chance to tie this game or do even better. He hits it to short, however. That's easy. So that's the second out with the infield drawn in. Tucker can't get it done. And Vargas now has got to get around Craig Paquette. First base is open. And Paquette will line it to right field. That's going to get to the wall. A big hit by Paquette. 
It's going to be a two-run double, and the Royals take the lead in this ballgame, 3-2. to two. Thanks for the liner. Paquette drilled on a full count to the opposite field, 3-2. to two. We're now into the seventh. Vargas facing Rando with two outs. Here's another shot to right. That's going to get down. So the base is loaded for the Royals. They try to open up some insurance. Mike McFarland's the hitter. Base is loaded. There's ball four, a big insurance run. It's four to two now, Royals. As McFarland gets the walk, and Garrett Olson's come on to try to put out the fire. Michael Tucker at the plate. Base is loaded. Four to two ball game. Tucker will go too short. And the play is made nicely there by Wilson. We'll hit the seventh inning stretch. It is four to two Royals. As Bob Johnson now faces Jeff Montgomery, it's up to the Royals pen. This ball's drilled past the third baseman for a single, a one out hit for the Mariners. Joan Figgins now at a hitter. Figgins lines won the third, play made at second for the fourth, so second out of the inning. We'll move to the eighth. Paul Cat, the hero so far, he's at the plate to lead off the inning. And Paul Cat will get another hit into left field. It is the 10th Royals hit. And Hamlin's the hitter now against Garrett Olson. Hamlin goes down the right field line. Another fair ball into the corner. Paul Cat heading for third. He's going to stop. So with nobody out, the Royals have runners on second and third. Now they're loaded for Johnny Damon, only one out. And the league is coming to the game. And Damon hits a long fly to left. It'll be playable, but the run will tag. Throw to the plate will be in time. A great throw. The tag put on. Saunders with an outstanding play. Almost with his back to the plate. Turns around and fires a bullet to keep the game at 4-2. to two. Great play by Saunders. We'll move to the ninth now with Offerman up there. Still a two-run game. Offerman's going to drop that one in the left for a single. Another hit for the Royals. McFarlane at the plate. McFarlane goes the other way. He lines it there, and it's first, second now with only one out here in the ninth. Nobody can score, however. We move to the bottom of the frame. Doug Linton in there to try to close the door for the Royals. Jose Lopez at the plate, and Lopez hits this one to short. Play will be made there in the hole nicely by Howard. Two outs now for Josh Wilson. Linton, one out away from closing it down. This one's hit past the first baseman for a hit. So the tying run will come up here for the Mariners, and Milton Bradley off of the bench. But he pops it up. Should be playable. Coming on in on the infield to make the play is McFarlane. And the Royals win game number three, four to two. It was the Paquette double that made the difference in the sixth inning. Flipped this game around. They added another in the seventh and took this one with some nice pitching. Great bullpen work. Chris Haney gets the win working six innings. McFarlane three for four with an RBI. Jason Vargas the loss. He allowed nine hits and seven strikeouts, and Linton gets the save for the Royals, who picked themselves up now. They've won two in a row to take the edge back in this series, two games to one. They do it in style on the road, 13 hits, and again, their pitching was super in that ball game. Setting up now a game number four, where the Mariners really need to respond and make sure they don't fall too far behind here. As the series rolls on, we're ready now for Game 4. Tim Belcher will take the mound for the Royals against Luke French for the Mariners. Game number 4 coming up. Let's see if the Royals can make it 3 in this best of 7. Bottom first inning, two outs, runners on the corner for Justin Smoke as the home Mariners try to get off to the right foot, and they get a walk here, so the base is loaded, a big chance. Two outs. 
And Michael Saunders at the plate against Tim Belcher with two gone, full count. And there's a line shot to right one run in. Each year old's not going to hesitate. He's going to try to score. He will two to nothing, Seattle. They jump on the Royals right off the bat here in the first inning. We'll move to the second. Offerman now part of a rally with the Royals coming back here. There's a pitch outside. So we got the bases loaded now for KC with two out. And Joe Randall with the chance. <clears throat> French delivers. This ball is hit to right field between the hole. Between the first and second baseman. And two runs are going to score. We are back even here. Two to two as Joe Randa answers for a two-run single. We'll move to the fourth. Randa back up there now. Two outs with the man on second. And he comes through again. Line drive to center field. Randa's third RBI. Clutch hitting for Joe Randa. It's three to two Royals. They jump out ahead of here as we move bottom four. Wilson the hitter. Wilson's going to go to right field. That ball's going to roll all the way to the wall. The lead runner heading the third. He's going to try to score. Throw to the plate is going to be late. We are tied again at three. Smoke scores, and Wilson delivers the RBI. To the fifth we go. Paquette facing French. 3-3 three, three ball game. This ball's deep to left field. On a line. Look up. See you later. Home run, Paquette. Saunders watches it go. Four to three Royals. They jump back up in front. Paul Keck getting the job done this entire series. Another big hit. Here's Branyan now, bottom of the fifth, 4 3 ball game. Branyan will go to left field, run around in third, so the throw is going to be cut off, and it is 4 4 now. Back and forth we go. Branyan comes through. Two outs now for Justin Smoke. And Smoke was deep to right on the track looking up home run smoke a three run fifth inning for seattle the fans on their feet a two run job gets the mariners up six to four in this one to the sixth inning let's see if the mariners can hold it johnny damon the hitter really a crucial game in this series damon's gonna go deep to right you can forget about that one the ball flying out of safe go tonight. It is 6-5 as Damon gets a solo home run. To the seventh for Michael Tucker. Jamie Wright has come on. There's a base hit to left. So Paquette back at the, at the plate now. And Paquette will go to short. But that could be trouble for him. That's going to be a double play. Seattle turns it, holds on to their 6-5 lead here. We'll move bottom seventh. Big chance here for the home team to add to their lead. Justin Smoke up there with the bases loaded. And he hits it past the drawn in the infield. That's one run. Here comes another man coming home. Two-run single. Smoke getting it done in this one. It is eight to five now for the home team. They are looking to even this series. We move to the ninth. Cards must come on here to face the Royals in the final at bat. And this is a liner to center field that'll drop in there. A base hit for McFarland with two outs runner on. Puckett back at the dish. Karen Olson has come in to close it down. This ball's hit too short. A very nice play in the hole made there. Wilson makes it, and the Mariners answer. And even up this series, winning this ball game 8-5, to five, showing they have no intention of making this easy, despite the record coming into the series. They've won their second game. Justin Smoke, a great game, 3-for-3 three three with four RBIs in the home run. Ichiro went 3-for-4 for, for the winning team with a double. Three runs scored. Damon 2-for-2 two two with three runs scored as well. And it was French who beat Belcher. Olsen got the save. 8-5 to five our score. We went back and forth there for a while until the 7th when the Mariners put it out for good. They had the one-run lead and built on the three-run fifth inning to get it done. And this series now, best of seven, has come down to best of three as we are tied two games apiece. One more ball game at Safeco. We are guaranteed to go back to Kaufman. 
A great series it is. Smoke has six RBIs in the series. Uh, you can see here McFarland hitting 412. And we are getting the aces again now as we move to game number five. It's going to be exciting as we head down to the finish. Kevin Apier against Felix Hernandez. Everything now on the line as game number five. Crucial to see who can advance and get the edge on this series. Last game in Seattle. It's been exciting. Back and forth we go. Let's continue in the game five as King Felix and the Seattle faithful try to cheer their team on to take the lead over the Royals in the crucial tie-breaking game. So the two aces back at it. We are in the top of the second inning with Felix Hernandez pitching here. And Hamlin hits one fair. And Hamlin will have a double here at least with nobody out in the second inning as the Royals strike first in this game number five. Now on third, Keith Lockhart, the hitter. And Lockhart is going to get it on. He goes into the gap. One to nothing, KC. Lockhart with an RBI double, and Felix Hernandez lets up the first run here of this ball game. We'll move to the fourth with Apier facing Gutierrez. Still one nothing our score. Nobody out. And this ball's hit deep in the left. Into the night it goes. Goodbye. We got a tie game. Gutierrez takes Apier deep. one to one our score. A towering home run to left field. Josh Wilson now the hitter with the man on. This is hit into the hole. Great play there at third, but no play to be made. A great stop, I should say. Randa scooped it, but the runners are safe. And Rob Johnson has a chance now with the runners on. He looks at strike three, however. That's the second out. Apier gets him swinging. Couldn't check it in time. And Chone Figgins the chance. Figgins goes into the hole. That's going to get through. Run right around in third. Ball cut off. And the Mariners take the lead on the Sean Figgins single. It's 2-1 to one now. Hernandez now having the lead. Nobody out. This ball's drilled to left field. Randa with a single. Michael Tucker now. That's his chance. He lines one to center. Nice play there in center field. Gutierrez makes it. Ethan, we go. Offerman at the plate. It's a 2 1 game. Offerman's going to hit this one in the, the outfield. A 2 0 pitch is slapped for a hit. And Jamie Wright now facing Joe Randa. It's 2 to 1. This is hit past the second baseman. Offerman's going to head the third. So with nobody out, the Royals have runners on the corners. A big chance now as Michael Tucker steps in. Infield is in. Amy Wright delivers. This ball's lifted to left. It will be in foul territory and caught. So Lopez gets the first out. A big out it is. And Craig Paquette at the plate. One out. There's a strikeout. Big strikeout. First the ball out and now the strikeout. And it's up to Hamlin. Amy Wright trying to get out of this jam. There's ball four, so they pitch around Hamlin. Base is loaded. 2-1 ball game. Keith Lockhart facing Jamie Wright. And this ball's lying to center field. Base hit. One run in. Another run going to score. The Royals are going to take the lead here with a three-run eighth inning. 4-2 our score. We'll move now to the bottom of the eighth. Napier are still in the game. This ball's line down the line hits the chalk. It's going to be extra bases here for Johnson. So the tying run's going to come up here. Joan Figgins, the hitter, nobody out. Jeff Montgomery has come in to face him. This ball's hit back to Montgomery. He'll make the play. Runner move in the third. But the Royals not overly concerned with Johnson on third because it's a two-run game. Here's Gutierrez. Surprising they have the infield in, but they do. However, that's hit to the shortstop. Out number two. Howard makes the play. 
And now it's Ichiro facing Montgomery. Two outs. Ichiro hits it past the first baseman. That's a base hit. So it's a 4-3 game as the Japanese star gets the single to drive in a run here with two outs. And Branyan has a chance. He strikes out, however. Montgomery gets him. They let up the one run. Still a 4-3 ball game. We move to the ninth. Two outs here for Randa, who's facing Sean White. Randa will go up the middle. That's going to be a single. So the Royals with a two-out hit here in the ninth inning. We are into the bottom of the frame. Pichardo has come on to try to close the door. It's a one-run game. Let's see if the Mariners have a rally in them. And there's a good start. A base hit to right field by Smoke. So the winning run comes up here at the plate. Michael Saunders. He hits it to center field. This ball's got some carry. I don't know if it's deep enough. At the wall. Caught. It just didn't have the carry. Fans on their feet, but it comes up short. Demon catches it. Oh, how close they came on that one. Here's Jose Lopez now. Lopez will go to third. This might be two. Relay to first. Double play. The Royals pull it off here. Four to three in game number five. A dramatic eighth inning saw them put up three runs. That was the difference and a very dramatic bottom in the ninth inning. We're just feet away from being a walk-off home run. Johnny Damon made the catch at the track. Kevin Apier in the end gets the win with 11 strikeouts. Another good outing for Apier. Hernandez also pitched pretty good. He allowed two runs in seven innings. And Keith Lockhart, two for four with three RBIs in this game. A big part of that eighth inning was Lockhart. And a huge win for the 90, 1996 Royals. They now get the advantage as they are up three games to two. And they get two home games now to try to close out this series. Doug Fister will face Jose Rosada. And I think these teams, yes, indeed, they've gone back and forth. We've reached game number six. Can the Mariners survive or will the Royals close the door on this series? They are the favorites, but they've sure had a tough time getting rid of Seattle, who's played well. And every time they've been down, they've bounced back. Let's see if they can do it again in game number six. It's going to be Jose Rosado, who has a chance to close it down for the home team. And also, they're very, very good bullpen that, that has pitched well this entire series. So, Kauffman Stadium will be alive and energetic as the 96 Royals look to close out this best of seven. Game six coming up live. Let's see what the Mariners can do to try to survive. Bottom of the first inning. Offerman's on first base. Here's Joe Randa. And Randa gets a deep drive deep to center field and up towards the bleachers. What a shot by Randa. Way out of here. The Royals make a mistake. They want to wrap this series up. Two to nothing. Coming right back now are the Mariners with a line drive single by Josh Wilson up the middle. This will get a run home, so the lead cut in half in the second inning. Two to one, our score. Rosado in a jam here as Chone Figgins now at the plate. Base is loaded. He lines it to right field. That ball will get down. One run and another man going to score. So three runs here, two coming off the Chone Figgins single. It is now 3-2, to two, Mariners. We move to the fourth, make it 2-2 two, two a tie. McFarland's the hitter. He lines a single to left. Runners first and second. We are in the bottom of the fourth inning. Keith Lockhart, the hitter. Lockhart will pop this up in foul territory. A lot of room out there. Branyan makes the play. Two outs now for David Howard. And against Doug Fister. This is grounded to second. Play will be made there, so the game remains tied at two. 
four in the fifth inning. Ichiro's up with Figgins on first. This one's dribbled short. It's going to be an impossible play to get Ichiro. So an infield hit with one out. A lot of speed on the bases. Russell Brannion's at the plate. Brannion Grooves won the second. They'll get the force and the double play. A good defensive play there by the infield of the Royals. This game is still 2-2. Joe Randa up there who homered earlier. He comes this time and grounds at the first. Tough play. Infield hit for Randa. So with one out, the Royals got runners on first and second. And Michael Tucker's the hitter. Tucker's going to hit it to first. Play is made at second, but runners on the corners here. Tie game. We got two outs for Craig Paquette. Paquette right up the middle. Base hit. He takes the ball straight back at the pitcher. And there's the go-ahead run. Paquette with an RBI score in Jose Offerman. 3-2 Royals. Moving into the later innings now. We're into the eighth. Jeff Montgomery facing Ichiro. To lead off the eighth inning. It's a one-run ball game. Ichiro goes to left. That ball's going to be caught. Diving catch out there. Paquette makes a great play. What a series Craig Paquette is having at the plate and in the field. Here's Justin Smoke with two outs. This one's lined for a single. So the tying run on the bases. Two outs. Jose Lopez, the hitter. Lopez goes deep into the hole. Play made by the shortstop. Nice play there. Howard gets the out. Three to two, our score still. Bottom of the eighth inning, McFarland the hitter. Brandon League has come in, and McFarland's going to line a single here with two outs to the right field. But we are in the ninth inning now. It's up to the Mariners to try to tie this game up. Pichardo has come in to try to close it down and end this series. Saunders is the hitter. Everything on the line here, but there's ball four. Just to start, the Mariners wanted the tying run on first with Joss Wilson. Let's see if they move the runners. Wilson strikes out, however, on a full count. They can't move the runners. They can't do anything with it. And Rob Johnson now at the plate. Mike Magnante has come in to try to close this thing out. He walks, however, borderline pitch. Half swing by Johnson. 3-2 ball game, two men on for Chone Figgins. One out. This ball's ripped into left field. That's going to drop. Runner's going to try to score. Here's the throw to the plate. Not in time. Runner will score. We are tied at three. Chone Figgins with a clutch RBI single here with a one out. The Mariners do come back. And here's Franklin Gutierrez trying to give his team the lead. He pops it up. On the infield, the play will be made there, so two outs. And Ichiro with a chance now with two down. Magnate delivers. Ichiro hits it to center field, but this will be playable. But the Mariners will take it. They're able to tie the game in dramatic fashion on the Figgins. Single, we move to the bottom of the ninth. Arnsma in the face, David Howard. Tie ball game. Here's a ground ball. Now a liner. It is over the first baseman's head. So a single here to lead off the inning. And the Royals have the winning run on. Johnny Damon now at the play with the man on first. Damon lines it down the line. That's just fair. It's a fair ball. Let's see if they send the runner. Runner head of the third. He'll hold up. But we got runners second and third. Nobody out. And Offerman at the plate. Erdsma. Trying to hold on with his fingernails here. The infield is in. Offerman with a big chance. He lines one. That gets through. Royals win the series. Royals take the game. Game six. And this series is over in walk-off fashion. Jose Offerman wins it. Lining a single to right field. Past the drawn and infield. And winning it four to three in the bottom of the ninth inning. What a way to end the series for the Royals. They take it four games to two. Offerman, the hero in this one, three for five. The big RBI, and Randa had the home run early. Doug Fister 
pitched early on for the Mariners. Didn't work out for him. Magnante gets the win. Arzuma loses it in the ninth. And this series is history. It was a good one, but the favorites do hold on. They take it in six games. Some of the numbers, looking at the Mariners first, Josh Wilson at 364, Ichiro at 360. Both had good series at the plate. Smoke led the team with six RBIs. Not a lot of long balls for the Mariners. They're pitching. You can see here. Felix Hernandez in his two starts at a 346, struck out 13 men. No decisions for him. Doug Fister took a loss. His ERA way up there. Vargas also had an ERA up there with a loss. And Ardsma was one and one. He struggled and especially let it go in game six of the series. Some issues there definitely for the Mariner pitching. Johnny Damon at 520 for the series. He was 11 for 23. McFarland drove in four. Paul Ken and Rand, a very good series. They combined for 11 RBIs. The pitching you see here, Rosado pitched very well in his two starts, 1.46. And Kevin Apier at 346, he won a game with 17 strikeouts. Magnani out of the pen, high ERA, but he gets that crucial last win, even though he gave up the lead. Montgomery, Linton, very, very good out of the pen. Tim Belcher. You see there he had a very rough outing in his loss uh, that came in game four. So that is a wrap for this one. The series is history. Johnny Damon gets the noteworthy accomplishment of MVP. He was 11 for 23 in the series, hit a homer, two RBIs, scored five runs, stole a base, 520E uh, on base percentage, and obviously a very good uh outfield play for him so Damon the MVP but the Royals could have gone with a few different players Paul Kett and Randa had good series and of course Offerman won it in the bottom of the ninth of game six so that will do it it is a wrap for series 144 the winning side the favorite side the 1996 Kansas City Royals defeat the 2010 Seattle Mariners the Mariners, with only their 61-101 and 101 record, weren't expecting much, but they did put up a somewhat of a fight. But in the end, it was the Royals, who have flaws of their own, but made it stand out in this series and take it in six games. Out of the Park Baseball 20 presents more historical matchups coming your way. This was 144. Glad you were with us again. The Royals take it in six games. <laughs>